The recognition of understanding of mental health conditions have changed over time. But there are still variations of definitions and assessments, so it's very hard to diagnose. The United States is said to have the highest incidence of people diagnosed with mental health problems. According to the World Health Organization, mental health is a state of well-being in which individuals realizes his or her own abilities can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively, and is able to make contributions to his or her community. Experts say that we all have the pro potential for suffering from mental health problems no matter how old we are. Whether we are male or female, rich or poor, or ethnic group we belong to. The United Kingdom, over a quarter of one million people are admitted into psychiatric hospitals each year. And more than 4,000 people kill themselves. They come from all walks of life. This is where I'm going to get personal. This story, this is my story. About four years ago, I went through a terrible custody battle with my ex-husband. He was a drug addicted and a thief. And the judge gave him custody of two of my children. I lost my boys, and it devastated me. I lost touch with reality. It ripped my heart out. I got to be in a deep depression, and I couldn't get out of bed. I quit taking care of myself. But the worst part was that I couldn't take care of my two youngest children that I had in my care. I couldn't even get out of bed or feed my children. I'm the type of mother that my family is my everything. So I knew there was a problem and I couldn't begin to bring myself to get up and be there for them. During this time, I thought about where, I thought all about where ways to talk, I'm sorry. During this time, all I thought about where were ways to take my life. I just didn't want to live in pain any longer. This is my family, in, I'm sorry. This is when my family intervened and took, my, took me straight to the hospital and admitted me into the mental health ward at St. Joseph's Hospital. The worst part is I worked at St. Joseph's Hospital. So it was very embarrassing to me because everybody there knew me. While I was in the hospital, staff took wonderful care of me. The doctors <coughs> diagnosed me with depression and started me on a treatment of medications and counseling. I stayed there for four days. On the fourth day, they evaluated me and decided that medication was working and that I started to feel whole again because of this counseling, because of the counseling, so I did I was released to go home. <coughs> ever since then, I have been depression. Ever since then, I have been on depression medication, and I do follow up visits with the doctors. Also, I remain in counseling. I work hard to balance my life and my disorder. It's not always easy. Some days are better than others, but I have to remember that I have people that love me. So no matter how hard life gets, I have to stay strong be here for them, and be here for them. And my conclusion, to conclude my speech, I would like to ask you, do I look like the type of person that has a mental disorder? A lot of people stereotype. People always assume when a person says illness disorder or disability, it's going to be someone with an obvious condition. But that's not always the case. Just look at me. 
As a community, we need to be more aware of mental disorders and challenges that people with mental disorders face. I want to thank you for your time and having me here today. It's been a pleasure. I would like to ask, do you know anybody with depression? If you do, maybe you should talk to them, maybe get them some help, because depression, nobody knows what depression is until you're actually stepping in that person's shoes. I had everything, but I didn't have my voice. So that was hard for me. I didn't want to live. I didn't care if I had everything. The materialistic things didn't mean anything to me. What mattered was having my children, and that put me in the hospital. That was so hard. I just didn't want to live. Um, so make sure that you get help. Take the, the person that you know to the hospital if needed, you know, um, because they, they can be suicidal, you know, and you don't even know it. And make sure that they get admitted into the hospital, you know, get some type of help or counseling. You know, St. St. Joseph's Hospital is very good with mental health. They're very helpful. I didn't even want to go home. <laughs> it was that good. I mean, you didn't have to fix your bed, you didn't have to cook dinner, you didn't have to worry about the kids. You know, but my main thing was my kids were taken and swept from me. I was working so hard and they were taken from me to somebody who was doing drugs and also stealing from work. And my kids knew what was going on. That was very hard for me. So hopefully this doesn't happen to any of you guys because it's <coughs> hard to deal with. To get up and go to work and deal with people every day. You want to put be nice, you know, and, and helpful to these people, but in the back of your mind you think you got it, yeah. I'm sick, you know, I'm depressed. But I want to thank all of you guys for listening to me today. I'm sorry I kind of struggled a little bit there, but you know, I was kind of nervous and I just hope that all of you guys um, with somebody who you know that has depression, please get them some help because it's not easy. I have to take medication every day.